the Lord God bless you. Today is June 18th and I came to see you with the 169th drop of the living water. Are you all happy? Talking about new life in the new earth, new world, with all the renewed people, with Lord God. That would be amazing. That is where we are heading to. So now we are talking about our responsibilities. What should I do? What should we do? What are the things that we need to get rid of? And what are the things that we must add into our life? What are the things that we need to change accordingly? So these are the things that we are talking about nowadays. And we saw all the revelation, all these necessary steps came to David. When he was wandering here and there, running for his life in this cave, the other cave, in this jungle, at the river, he was running. But by that time, that was his exactly his training period. That was the training, the practical period before he got into the throne. Not only this earthly kingship, but he was trained, well trained for the heavenly kingship and also for the new life on the new mountain, the holy mountain of the Lord God. So we all have to go through this training period. So during that time, he revealed these very important uh, points for us to get to know, not only to get to know, but to practice. Right? So yesterday we learned that pure in heart. Remember when Christ Jesus came in his incarnation, the Beatitudes, that was his first teaching. He taught about this. Happy are the pure in heart. Some, uh, some version says, blessed are the pure in heart. They will see God. See, the promised word, they will see God. But their part, the condition is, blessed are pure in heart. Those who are pure in heart, they will see God. So now Christ Jesus, he was the Lord God. But people can see him. So why he is talking about they will see God? Didn't they see him? No, all the people who gathered around him, they saw him. But those are the people who crucified him. So that is not what he is talking about then. So then what? He was talking about this new life on new holy mountain. New earth, new world. That's why he says that blessed are the pure in heart, they will see God. How? We go to heaven after thousand years of vacation, we come and not alone. The Lord God is coming with us. They see God. That's why he said, happy or oh, blessed are the pure in heart, they will see God. Right. He was talking about this new world. If you got misunderstand, this is what really a deep meaning in Beatitudes. Let's move on. This is the next step. Let's see uh, what the Lord God revealed to David. The second step. Let's read. We are in Psalm chapter 15 and let's read verse 3. It says, He does not slander with his tongue, nor does evil to his neighbor, nor take up reproach against his friend. What is he talking about? All about the tongue. No slander with tongue. The person, this new renewed person is not playing with his tongue. Right. And uh, no evil. No, no, no. Not any single word of evil. And he do not take up reproach against his friend. Guide our tongue. Guide our words. In other words, remember, pure in heart means we must keep the tenth commandment. All the sins that doing with our mind goes to the tenth commandment. Do not grieve. That comes from the mind. And second one, 
the ninth commandment is do not bear false witnessing that is the only thing in the ten commandments doing with our words so all the sin everything we do wrong from our words with our tongue that goes to the ninth commandment so here again it says yesterday he says keep the tenth commandment in simple words and today he says keep the ninth one got it right so we must practice all these things before we go to bed when we uh, complete our journal think anything that with my words if anyone got hurt if anyone uh, got tears into their eyes because of my words because of my cruel or rude or mean words if that happens any swear in the past go to feet of god ask forgiveness and be renewed before go to bed then tomorrow morning it will be refreshed another brand new day because we have to learn another step tomorrow be ready may the lord god bless you and keep you